What's happening? What to do, my people? So this is something I I was like 50-50 on doing. Last minute, I figured, man, look, let me get some content for the page. I'm, that's my mantra, content, content, content. So I want y'all to have, have some things to look forward to when you come to the channel or whatever. Have some kind of review or something to go to get you through your day. So I decided to do Anderson Park Ventura. So when I first seen it, I was like, oh, he dropped a new song or something. Because I'm like, he just dropped an album. He just dropped Oxnard not too long ago. I reviewed that and everything. I'm like, and he signed with Dr. Dre. So you know with Dr. Dre, that brother does not, they do not work fast in their camp. So I'm like, I don't think it's no album. It's probably just a song. I ain't worried about it. But I seen it online. So I, I was like, oh, it's a full project. I'm like. I, I downloaded it. I, <laughs> I I streamed it. Yeah, you know. So I was like, I was like, man, I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna get to it. And I wasn't getting to it. Then I finally pressed play, and so I'm like, let me see. And it, I was like, man, it sound pretty good right here. Man, I, mm. I didn't even look at the credits and stuff, man. I looked at that like afterwards. But man, the first song featuring Andre 3000. So I'm like, whoa. So he, he doing this up, man. It's, it's, a, it's a nice mellow track. Like a lot of stuff that I hear from him is real up-tempo and funk and everything. But this was real, real mellow, real chill. Man, I like that. Then he went to a Smokey Robinson track. Dope. Had a lot of that vibe. Like the early stuff on, on the project, it reminded me, this is me personally. It reminded me of uh, old Duele music, something like that, like a, a mix of Duele and Music Soul Child, a little bit of that. Then later on, then it starts to get into more of the up-tempo up funk and shit, and uh, we never got into that bag, like in the middle of the project, I start sensing like some prints. It had, it gave me that, that, that sense of prints, and then a little bit after that, it gave me like a uh, that prince ish uh d'angelo type type vibe especially d'angelo last album that he dropped the one of uh, d'angelo in the vanguard or whatever it, it definitely gave me vibes of that project and like his tone and his voice and the instrumentation and everything but it's a pretty good project man i know i'm not in, in depth like as I normally do, normally I go over every track and this and that. I still don't go super in depth, but I'll tell you if I like the song or not. But I'm not doing it this time. I'm I'm being lazy. I just want to drop something. And overall, it's a good track, man. Like my favorite song, my favorite song on here, I think is a uh, King James. I think that's a song, and it's it's an up tempo. Usually, that's not really like the songs I gravitate to. But while I was listening to the things he was talking about, man, like how. He like how LeBron is doing things in the community. And just, uh, it's not about LeBron. But he talk about other things in the community and things that's going on. I can't think of it exactly in my mind right now. But I would listen to it and it was very social, social justice-like. And he was saying some real shit on the song. So I'm like, man, I feel that song. It made me write, like, I haven't been writing rhymes or anything lately. But I've been writing concepts in my phone like so whenever i do start to, to write again because i do have all intentions on dropping some music especially since i'm doing these reviews and people will probably wonder how he think he's certified to to have an opinion on other people's music i do music as well and you, you might not care about that or, or yeah baby what but maybe so but i've been writing concepts like so it gave me a few concept ideas just to write for me to have her future songs or whatever but another song that I liked towards the end of the project, you had a song with Brandy. That was real dope as well. Man, so overall, I would give this project, it's, it's a short project. It's 11 songs. I think it's like 40 minutes. Uh, I would give it like an 8.5, man. I'm, gonna be, I'm not a big Anderson Park fan. Like, I'm more, I'm more of a mellow, chill dude, man. But, like, I like the vibe of it, man. I like the instrumentation. His voice sounded good on the tracks, man. It gave me nostalgia of, of other artists that I really enjoy. 
uh, he was saying some stuff, man. It, it had a nice vibe to it, man. So I'm not going to hate on the brother. There wasn't any tracks that I despised, that I hated anything. See, I pretty much liked the whole project. Uh, will I be listening to it a whole lot? Uh, I'm going to see. I'm going to try to listen to it a little bit more. Like, I haven't been, like, a, traditionally a big Anderson Pac fan. So usually, I, if I'm a fan of you, like, I keep playing your stuff. Like, I play her, Summer Walker. Things like that, on repeat, J. Cole, on repeat, Saba album, like, well, I came on to that late, but once I enjoyed it, rotation. So I've been listening to the same stuff for months, over and over. So I'll dibble and dabble with the review songs, like, I'll check out a project for the reviews, and then I probably won't go back to it. But, uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to listen to this again, man. I, I really like this project, but 8.5 out of 10, I would definitely tell you to check it out. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, go be the greatest of the most hated. Sorry, this video ain't gonna have all the bells and whistles and, and all that. Just gonna be me talking to the camera. Peace out, man. Hope y'all enjoyed. I'll let you boy.